I have salutations, this is something awful, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm starting from here to show that I still have that right, and basically, because I thought I was going to start writing the cutscene, it's been a while since I've recorded, and so I forgot that I had just finished the dungeon as I create the most watch beeps as I'm trying <laughs> to get my timer going because I didn't plan that either anyway we're basically gonna learn that we need to go across the bridge and go on to the next world yay and find Ilya over there exciting but first we're going to talk to the everybody cuz Colin's better and she looks like she has a paperclip on her eyebrow there for a moment the um Renato Charmin lady person type thing and so yeah we're going to continue playing this and yes that's what I was just talking about Ilya we have to save her exciting so we will we will save her and that is what we will be doing in not this episode it's gonna be a while before we save Ilya cause this game like this next section before the next dungeon is really. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to the fact that he's up and walking around again. That was a kid I got <laughs> gotten by the bulbman, and yeah, he's gonna say like he he wants to um be brave like me. And well, let's face it, out of those kids, he is the bravest. Yep. And so um yeah, she's gonna he's gonna protect them. I knew I was gonna do that eventually. Actually, anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna um, continue onwards with this. And basically, you notice they're all there except, um, what's his? Oh, Mallow is there. He's just in the background. He's like, yeah, I'm Mallow. This is what I do anyway. You may remember I maxed out on money. I honestly kind of forgot but I remembered now so the absolute first thing I'm gonna do is wander over here and go to the Mallow Mart because I wanna buy something because I'm rich and it will probably be helpful once or twice in the game actually the first time coming up very shortly um it's um do you, you don't even have it yet Okay, they don't have it until after I've done the mini- Until after I've filled out the mini game where it's useful for long enough. Anyway, let's, um, actually talk to everyone else, I guess. Um, here's this person. But yes. Yep, Talo is, um, basically, uh, there at the observation deck booth place. Anyway. Let's wander around town a little bit. I'm gonna actually go back this way. I oh, I get to get those soon too. Um, I just remembered something else I get now, which is gonna open up a bunch of other stuff. This next episode, this episode is probably gonna be very um sideways, um oriented. Just I'd warn you about that. It was completely pointless to go in here at this point in the game. <clears throat> Good to know. I'm assuming everyone's either in the inn. Or something. Anyway, let's... As you may have noticed when I started to go this way. There's, um, Gorons here now. I will be talking to them, but... Let's start with... Well... I'll... Yeah, I'll talk to this guy, I guess. They're basically gonna be like, Hey, if you wanna get on this object... And also there's this. I don't know if it was here before. We'll find out more about it, um, later. If I ever come here at night. Anyway, basically, yeah, they're gonna be like, Hey, thanks. And I don't really want to because, um, I actually want to go through the building because I bet there's people in there and I might as well. Like, I would, there are the other ones going to basically, hey, do you want to get up here? Climb on my back and I'm not going to in any case because I want to show the inside group because it's, well, right now I'm not going to. I will if I have to get up there again later. But now that we're in the um, inn, let's just kind of carry a box around with us in this inn. This lovely inn. That's clearly not open for business anymore. Anyway, in here... Oh, he's still in bed. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> I honestly didn't know that was there. He's so he's still not feeling 100 percent Then anyway, let's just kind of jump off a cliff. Like that's just so weird that you can do that. Um, but oh, oh, um, yes, it's another one of those post man Easter eggs. Um, I did. Not did I show the one in the barn? I can't remember. If I didn't, someone yell at me and I'll go back and show it. And oh, fine. I won't get into here. Go to the hot spring the way you were originally supposed to. I will use that Goron that I said I wasn't going to use because I forgot you have to use the Goron. Yeah. Exciting. This episode is going great because I have a lot of want to do that's just side quests essentially but yeah um we're gonna go up here basically you can jump up climb on these guys willingly now and get up here which we can use to go to this hot spring which again like the other one heals you if you're injured like the um, spirit spring it heals you if you're injured so up here there's some gorons Basically, they're gonna be like, we're able to come back down to the village, and, um, they basically have a store at night where you can buy things. <clears throat> so we'll, um, do that one time, maybe. Anyway, let's, um, just kind of jump and, like, hit a slope so we didn't then basically. Oh, there's bombs for sale! I knew that. But I actually am gonna read this guy's dialogue just because alliteration much if I remember correctly um so Barnes bombs um there's a counter over here you can speak to and you can actually speak to him hey now bud how about yeah okay this isn't it yeah he's got one type of bomb okay yeah so we can buy bombs and yeah, you can buy a 120 rupee mandatory item right here, right now. Yes, um, so we got bomb error. We got bombs. Anyway, yeah. Um. Now, what I was actually going to refer to was the fact that he's going to be like, This Barnes Bombs both the biggest blast, believe it. Better buy a bunch before they're all bought. Can't beat a Barnes Bombs. Yeah, that. Anyway, we have bombs now. Um, these things are going to be mighty useful, and you can accidentally equip your fishing rod. I'm going to just kind of throw them over the lantern for now, because I don't need them. But let's go up here, and out here, because there is actually quite the mini game coming up. And we are going to do it in this episode, and then we're going to go get a few side thing type things, which will be good. So, um, yeah. There is that. I believe up here is his dead storehouse. Which is still dead, um... Where I actually want to go is up here, though. Where I can go up here, and, um... I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to randomly cut for a moment here. Okay, and we're back. I am um, accidentally unpaused while I was grabbing my controller, so I moved like one step forward, but that's okay. Anyway, this guy's gonna basically say the same sort of thing that he's, um, basically gonna help us out up there, but I'm gonna, for real this time, go this way. Well, I did for real last time as well, because I, um, yeah. Basically, because this is like the one time in the game that there's a point of going in here and breaking pots. And yeah, I got a blue rupee. It's worth five rupees. Anyway, let's go up here, because why not? <clears throat> and here we are, up these stairs, and there's another ladder here. So we're going to go up it. And um, there's a chest here. <laughs> That's news to me. It has 
50 rupees in it! Sweet! Because I'm probably gonna be about to spend a bunch of it, and I am actually getting very close to getting a wallet upgrade, so there's that. But yeah, apparently there's a 50 rupee chest in there anyway, you can, um, keep climbing ladders to get up here to where there is what else but um the kid I could <laughs> okay he still ducks he still oh, knows you're there and he's gonna be like yeah check it out he's keeping watch the whole time and um, basically he's gonna say show him how to use the bow so we get to use the bow Okay, and so, the Milo is gonna basically be like, yeah, you never had a bow, how are you good at it? It's because you're, well, in this case, Fawful, not Link, but, um, basically we have to shoot these targets, so, first try, and he's gonna be like, okay, how about that? And, um, okay, there we go. And uh, Tattle's gonna be like, up here, try to hit this pole. And you're probably thinking, what? So am I. Um. Are you kidding me? I got that first try. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's very possible to get it, but I, I just hit that pole first try. Um, yeah, and I was, I, I'll admit I was concentrating a bit much there anyway, yeah. Uh, the Mallow's impressed, and he gives us a heart piece. So yeah, we got a piece of heart. One more to get a full heart container, but we won't be getting that anytime soon, right? Well, actually, first of all, I'm actually going to go to the store now, because... <clears throat> now that I've... Now that I've randomly gotten a frog in my throat for a moment there, but, um, he should now have the... This thing, which... Um, yeah, I'll buy it. It's the Hawkeye. Basically, it's, um, it's the telescope, basically. Except you can use it with the bow to basically hit that, um, pull easier. Because it's really hard to hit the way I hit it. Anyway, now, I don't know if you've noticed with those, all this dialogue, but I'm almost ready to do the, um, something else. Which is, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna do a bow and arrow combo with my bombs, and uh, shoot this rock up here and there's gonna be a piece of heart there so I just wasted a bomb and an arrow but basically as usual you can just get it with your um, thing and I forgot again to try and get it on Epona oh well or did I do that last time already I can't remember anyway I'm gonna just place a bomb here I don't even remember what's back here, but um, it's going to explode, and we can go back there. So let's go back here. I don't think there is much back here at this point, anyway. There's a chicken. Ooh, there's a black one, apparently. There's a darker one, anyway. Um, anyway, I'm going to attack it again for no apparent reason, because there is no cuckoo getting in this game, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're going to... Continue up and go down here, and you can actually go into the deep end of the spirit spring for once. And there's really nothing here for us right now, apparently. So let's um grab Epona, and yeah, that's the one time you can get up there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So we're gonna actually grab Epona, not accidentally grab the um, grass, not accidentally grab a bomb. Actually equip our arrows. Imagine it was that easy to accidentally pull out and light a bomb in real life. Imagine that. Just imagine that for a moment. Anyway, we're gonna actually go back this way instead of going the way we're supposed to because, um, well, we're gonna get interrupted by the mailman. Interruptions are the name of this game sometimes. So, what we can get from him is some letters. I guess I have to show them off now. Um, I hope I can get to my... I just pulled out another bomb! Um, yes, we can do... We can get the Hawkeye, basically. And we can combine bomb arrows. And we accidentally threw a bomb. So let's um, get rid of that. And actually, let's 
do this, because I feel safer with this on here. Anyway, over here, you'll notice, um, there's what appears to be, uh, like, discoloration in the wall. So let's blow that up and, um, equip our lantern, actually. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave them there for now, because they're still gonna be very useful in the near future. Anyway, once we blow this open, we can go into a cave. So let's go! Welcome to this game's first real cave. Anyway, we're gonna want to um, obviously have lantern oil. I have the spare bottle, which is good, because chances are I will go through a lot in here, but I am going to, because it's me, explore the entire cave, not just the right way. Because I like filling in maps, as you may know. Anyway, we're gonna kill some bats. You continue through here. It's a nice little cave area. You probably wouldn't be able to see it as well if I hadn't adjusted the settings, but that's okay. Yeah, there's just a bunch of bats, apparently. And we can continue by doing that. And now, there's this guy. We want to kill him. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I just remembered something that's in here. Um, it's not here, so that's good. Okay, well, let's continue going. Um, there's a blue rupee. Some rats. Okay, and this is a dead end here. I could have sworn that would happen. But, um, let's go... This, that's the way back. So this way. I just like these places. They're like little cave mine places, things. Anyway, let's kill some more things. Before continuing on, we have a choice. Again, I'm going to go away with the spider web this time. Because that seems like the right way to go. And I'm running low on lantern oil, but that's okay. Because I have a spare bottle of it. And I think this is where I'm supposed to go anyway. So let's, um, kill this guy. And, as you heard, I'm running low on antron oil, but, um, there's 50 rupees that I can hold, thankfully. Anyway, we're gonna run out of lantern oil very soon. And, so, when that happens, when you run out of lantern oil, um, basically, well, you're gonna find out very soon that, well, oh, that light there, don't. Don't. You will lose. You can't fight that light. I guess I can, um, kind of demonstrate after I relight my lantern. Uh, I, I'm gonna go in there, but I'm gonna get back out as soon as I can, but, like, see that light? Yeah! Run! You can't face it, and that's a... I guess I can try and show off that this is a dead end. See, it's a dead end. Run! 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 That's a Poe! You can't fight it yet. Uh, I'm sure you can guess what you need to fight it, but just run. Don't actually aggravate it if you're not an idiot. Anyway, let's um, kill this thing. By um, apparently masking it with that attack. Anyway, there's two torches here, so obviously it went the right way, but I'm going to have to remember to come back here later when I'm not an idiot. Anyway, light these torches, and the chest is going to appear. This is our... Well, I've already probably spoiled what this is for us, but it's a... Well, it's a heart piece. I'm just gonna say it. Alright, so we got a piece of heart, and, um... I have to remember to come back here... Later, when I can get the other thing. And I'm not gonna do the other of these caves until I can get the other thing, because I know it's in the other one. Anyway, I'm gonna go, um... Just kinda roll through... Back through here and go this way to show off that, like... Yeah, that's... I should have went this way first. Oh, I did go this way first. I was gonna say this is the other route, but um, once I get back down to here, yeah, this is a nice little like cave system, isn't it? So I get back down to here. I should have went this way first, just to show it off, cause it's I'm sure it's a lot shorter. Like I'm pretty much, pro or not? Huh? What could be here? Okay, apparently this is the end of a tunnel. And there's a chest here, which contains probably just a bit of change that I'm in the dark. And the rupees do glow in this game. Neat. Anyway, let's turn on our lantern again. And go this way. The final path in this thing, I hope. Which just leads to a bunch of skulls. Oh, and um, some... 
I missed it. That was some true, true jelly. It would have um, given me something. Anyway, I've used a bunch of my lantern oil in here, but that's basically what the cave is. So let's go. Um. Yeah. I have just. It's just done um, back out here, and um. See, you can do that, and then cause the opponent to run into a wall. But anyway, where I want to go now, that's pretty much like there's just one more um thing I want to do in village, then I can actually start going where I'm supposed to, well, start, I still have a few more side questy things that I want to do, and I, as I said, I knew this episode was going to be, um, pure sideways questing, but that's okay, because it wasn't anything, like, too major, it was, like, a cave exploration and a bunch of waste of, a uh, dialogue type stuff, anyway, um, the one thing I want to do while I'm here is, um, I, okay, I, don't remember. Ah, no, no. I know there is a way to um, dismount off the back of Pona with a backflip, but I don't remember what it is. I think you might actually have to be in your combat to do that. Anyway, I want to go in here because, um, well, in here, I just want to go here and grab this. Like, it's going to seem completely arbitrary and random. It's here somewhere. I know it's here. I remember it being here very clearly. There is a chest that I can make come here, but I'll do that when I have a bigger wallet because I don't want to fill it up again before I can get the bigger one. Anyway, right here, pick this up. You got a golden ant. I'll show that off better, like on my next one. I just kind of wanted to grab one now because I really want to have one by the time I am by now, basically. Like the rest, I'll grab later, but I want to have one. Anyway, we want to go this way, because you are going to get something good for the first one, and you're going to get something good for the last one, and the rest you're just going to get money. So, let's head out of town, I guess. Um, yeah, that's where we're supposed to go, after all. And it's this way. Where, um, actually there is something... I want to do over here before I am um, continue on. I just remembered one more thing which I can do now because I have bombs. Why do I have a like? Okay, I should um wrong place. I should equip bombs, I guess, because I want to blow up this rock, obviously. So um apparently cool guys don't look at explosions. So honestly, it's safer to not look at them as well. But that's. Not the point. Anyway, we want to go up here, and like, this is apparently quite the slope to climb. But let's just go and um, jump down here and um, climb. Oh, uh, well, that was close. Um, climb, 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 climb. Thank you, Link. And we want to go up here. I I believe this leads to another heart piece. This will be the last one I get before I'm actually, like, you know, going back into the twilight. Which is when the story progresses again. Anyway, anyway up here. I believe I want to jump here. I don't know, this part's always weird. Anyway, um, you could try and do this the hard way. Or you could go like that and um, just kind of blow it up. And um, now you want to just jump and um, grab onto this. And, um, wow, I just kind of realized my time, so I guess I'm going to leave it off on a cliffhanger here. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I have signed out. I'll see y'all in the next episode.